The Confessions of St. Augustine, Book 13, Chapter 3 That which you said in the beginning of the creation, Let there be light, and there was light, I do not unsuitably understand of the spiritual creature, because there was already a sort of life which you might illuminate. But as it had no claim on you for a life which could be enlightened, so neither now that it was had it any to be enlightened. For neither could its formless estate be pleasing unto you unless it became light, and that not by existing simply, but by beholding the illuminating light and cleaving to it, so that, that it lived and lived happily, it owes to nothing but your grace, being turned by a better change into that which can't be changed into worse or better, which you alone are, because you alone simply are, and to you it being not one thing to live, another to live blessedly, seeing yourself are yours own blessedness. Chapter 4 What then could be wanting unto your good, which you yourself are, although these things had either never been or remained without form, which you made, not out of any want, but out of the fullness of your goodness, restraining them and converting them to form, not as though your joy were fulfilled by them? For to you being perfect is their imperfection displeasing, and, hen <clears throat> and hence were they perfected by you and please you, not as you are imperfect, and by their perfecting were also to be perfected. For your good spirit indeed was born of the waters, not born up by them, as if he rested upon them. For those on whom your good spirit is said to rest, he causes to rest in himself. But your incorruptible and unchangeable will, in itself all sufficient for itself, was born upon that life which you had created to which living is not one with happy living, seeing it lives also, ebbing and flowing in its own darkness, for which it remains to be converted unto him by whom it was made, and to live more and more by the fountain of life, and in his light to see light, and to be perfected and enlightened and beautiful and beautified. Chapter 5 Lo, now the Trinity appears unto me in a glass darkly, which is you, my God, because you, O Father, in him who is the beginning of our wisdom, which is your wisdom, born of yourself, equal unto you and co-eternal, that is, in your Son, created heaven and earth. Much now have we said of the heaven of heavens, and of the earth invisible and without form, and of the darksome deep, in reference to the wandering instability of its spiritual deformity, unless it had been converted unto him from whom it had its then degree of life, and by his enlightening became a beauteous life, and the heaven of that heaven, which was afterwards set between water and water. And under the name of God, and I now have the Father who made these things, and under the name of beginning, the Son in whom he made these things, and believing as I did my God as the Trinity, I search further in his holy words, and to your spirit moved upon the waters, Behold the Trinity, my God, Father and Son and Holy Ghost, Creator of all creation. Chapter 6 But what was the cause, O true speaking light? And to you lift I up my heart, 
let it not teach me vanities. Dispel its darkness and tell me, I beseech you, by our mother charity, tell me the reason, I beseech you, why after the mention of heaven and of the earth invisible and without form and darkness upon the deep, your scripture should then at length mention your spirit? Was it because it was meet that the knowledge of him should be conveyed, as being born above? And this could not be said, unless that were first mentioned, of which your spirit may be understood to have been born. For neither was he born above the Father, nor the Son, nor could he rightly be said to be born above, if he were born of a nothing. First then was that to be spoken of, of which he might be born, and then he whom it was meet not otherwise to be spoken of, than as being born. But wherefore was it not meet that the knowledge of him should be conveyed otherwise, than as being born above? 